Something well known about me is that I'm blind. It's certainly no secret. Many would also assume that since I've no sight, I don't hear things either. Oh, how wrong they all are. If there's anything I've found to do better with my time that both disappoints my father and allows for some personal mischief, is creating Gossip Gaunt, a place where I expose and shed some light on Hogwarts gossip. I call them gauntings I hear about. It's an awful lot. I'm aware everyone reads it. Oh, but what are some things I hear, you ask? Allow me to enlighten you. We can start with these two. They're not really my actual friends, yet they linger about. I suspect Grace wants me to spread something about her family name. Synonymous with intellectual curiosity. <laughs> Whatever that is. Imelda, on the other hand, I hear is quite quick. And not just on a broom. Do with that information what you will. Either way, I know they both want me to portray their image a certain way, but I only portray things as they are, as I sense it. As my headline says, I'm simply here for the tea, not to stir it. The new fifth year. The entrance was dramatic and slightly impressive at first, but now it's gotten quite ridiculous. First, they beat my best friend in their first duel, fight off a troll in Hogsmeade, and how Sebastian hinted has made some enemies in Rookwood's lot all in one day. And you're a Gryffindor? Dear, uh, pick a struggle. It's not that hard. Crossed ones. As secretive as Sebastian likes to be about it, the truth is this is actually Professor Hecate's favourite pastime to place bets with Sharp. Something about having the best seats to these duels, I wouldn't know. I do, however, know that the new fifth year instills some fear in little Lucan. I suppose it's a good thing he's the club organiser and not just another opponent. Poor lad. The girls' bathroom. There is a polyjuice potion currently brewing in the girls' bathroom outside of Fig's class. How do I know? Pay no mind to that. I do, however, have some personal guesses. It's lingering towards Hufflepuff. No further comment yet. The library escapade. Sebastian got yet another detention for sneaking into the restricted section with the new fifth year. Yet he was the only one that got there was the detention. Else. I came alone. You know what? Good. He's an idiot. Ferdinand's whereabouts. Honestly, I commend whomever rid this painting from the three broomsticks. It interfered with my butter beer time. I hear that little damsel is having a grand old time at the hog's head. Gareth Weasley. Chap thinks he's so sneaky having others collect ingredients for him for his monstrosities. I don't even have to listen too carefully to him. He's quite loud about his plans. His new and improved butterbeer he's working on sounds concerning. Oh, great, yet another mess. Damn it, Gareth, not again. Your little ventures. For example, you thought I wouldn't hear about your little escapades into loyalist territory to clear them out? As a matter of fact, now that I have you both here, what is wrong with you? Do you both have any idea how that could have gotten you both killed? Do you have a death wish? Why is it that when something always happens, it's always you two? You both have to swear to stop doing this. You both are already plotting something else, aren't you? Why do I even bother? Anyways, Duncan Hobhouse. It's awfully daring of you to think no one would know what you really did to acquire that leaf you speak of. You forgot I've ears all over these floors. Just know, Puffskeen Dunkeen. Once a coward, always a coward. You know what you did. All in all to say, if there's anything going on, believe I've already heard about it. Will it become a gaunting? Stay tuned for next week's issue of Gossip Gaunt. Oh, don't have time to read? Worry not, I'll gaunt you myself. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. <laughs>